both teams getting their final warm-ups in as we welcome you back to the MLB pregame show. First pitch of Game 2 in our series is right around the corner, but before we turn that corner, here is our Topps player spotlight. Damian Ryu is in that spotlight as he'll be trying out a new position, third base. His manager announced today they plan to have him at the hot corner permanently unless, of course, it doesn't work out. Yeah, and moving to a new position might be an issue for some guys, but if anyone can pull it off, it's this guy. He's a very hard worker, and from what I've heard, he's actually the one who suggested the move. You know, Maybe he's played third a bit in his younger years. Well, I played a lot of different positions in my career. In fact, I played every position on the field, and no doubt each one was a little bit of a different challenge. But sometimes a challenge is what makes a guy better. Plus, there's a good chance that this move could really help the team be better. Not only does it mean that he could be getting some more playing time for himself, but it could also open up room at his old position for another guy to contribute to this team. We're just going to have to wait and see how it all works out. All right, lineups and first pitch are coming up next. Stay tuned for that right here on the show. Saturday night baseball now from Southern California at Angel Stadium of Anaheim. Tonight, game two of this three-game weekend series between the Cleveland Indians and the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. These two should provide some big-time fireworks. First pitch is coming up. With that, here's a look at Terry Francona's Tribe starting nine. Eric Karros, who you focused on? Well, I think the focus has to be on the man hitting third. He sports a batting average with runners in scoring position over 300, so you could say he relishes in those big moments. We'll see if that's the case in this one. Jason Hamill is on the mound for game two. What do you have for us on him, EK? Well, Matty, he's looking to knock down that ERA. You see there, he's into the fours, looking to have a little better start than what he's been accustomed to. Damian Ryu will stand in, and you see what he's done over the past four games, as hot as they come. Into the windup and the pitch. Hot shot on the ground is short. Lindor comes up with it. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So it's two runs here on two hits, with one of them being the home run. Second inning upcoming from the Big A. Angels are out in front, two to nothing. Stepping in, Damian Ryu, as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Well, he's batting lefty right now, but does it matter? He can hit from either side of the plate. And a breaking ball runs in and gets him, and I doubt there was any intent behind that. If you're going to get hit, this is usually as good a spot as any. He just turns his body right into it. It's textbook. And this gets him right around the hip area. So striding in, Andrelton Simmons, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Has to be thinking strikeout here. High in the air out towards Half shallow way. right. Chisenhall moving to his left. Two down. Tyler Flowers gets a shot here with two on and two out here in the fourth. And a big two out at bat right here. You know, it's still early in this game, but you don't want to have to look back on this as a major missed opportunity later on. Ground ball right side. On, beat it out, beat it out, beat it has it. Oh. Go on to first. He'll be in time. And a good chance for the Angels goes for naught as the side is retired. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. We're back with more on this Saturday night. Damian Ryu will get another shot. Hit by a pitch his last time. Ah, got him right in the back. Ryan. Doesn't feel good, never does, but I can think of a lot worse places to get dosed. Come on now, put her in play. Here's the first pitch to him. 
Oh, and this just jumps off the bat here as this is to deep straightaway right field, and you can pretty much forget about this one. That is a long home run. A two-run blast to straightaway right field. Home run number nine on the year, as that'll pull him even at four apiece. Well, it's just a little in, and not a terrible location, really. But if you're sitting on that pitch in that spot, you can certainly do some damage. And he absolutely did some right there. That's a two-run homer. Damian Ryu steps in, working on a one-for-two game so far. Hey, your turn. Drive him in. Keep it going. Hit hard towards center. In there with base hit. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Now batting. And now time is called here as their pitching coach is going to pay a quick visit to the mound to discuss how they want to attack things here. Andrelton Simmons to step in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. And a chance at redemption, too, because he hasn't done much through his first three plate appearances, but he could make up for all of that with a base hit right here. looking to minimize the damage here he struck him out and it could have been worse the inning over with only a run coming across to score so it's a run on three hits no errors and two men left on ninth inning coming up the halos lead this one five to four Entertaining game all in all, so if we have to choose one who stood out among all others, why not go with this man right here? He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, you see a couple of hits for him in the ball game. This one was tight throughout, but in the end, he really helped lead his guys to this victory. So that'll just about do it. For Eric Caro, Steve Lyons, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com.